Good morning, everybody. Benjamin from Santorini, aka Santorini Travel Advisor. How are you doing? We move on and we're going to a state of yours in Kamari. See you there. Very, very, very soon. Very, very soon. Soon. So, guys, here we are at the Estate Argyros Winery. <laughs> Side of the state of Euros. This is obviously the tasting area. Are we gonna have our wines later on? Just behind me, there is the Vincento Vargiros. They have different editions which uh, separate themselves from the aging that they have in the bar. The most famous one that they have is the one that's 20 years old. Here we are with Sofia. Hi. She's gonna take us through the whole tour thing. So um, let's start. Sofia, here we are. Perfect. So welcome to Stay Vargiros. We are a family winery established in 1903. This is our newly constructed building. We moved in three months ago. Uh, we are run today by the fourth generation of winemaking and the eighth generation of viticulture. Just in front of us, we see our new plantations. So our new plantations, um, Mavro Dragono variety, a red variety of the islands. Those were planted only seven years ago, and that means babies for Santorinian standards. Santorini never had phylloxera, the pest that destroyed all the vineyards in Europe so we have ungrafted vines. Vineyards in Santorini develop a very deep root system. They go 25 to 30 meters deep and that's how they absorb the moisture they need to survive. So they are not watered at all? Not at all. Well, here you see pipes and that's only because when we planted them seven years ago we had a week of very strong winds. So most of the baby vines are had really damages so we had to do, decide whether to help them with some water and that means irrigating once every three months or plant everything from the beginning we decided to help them with some water so now we are in the wine field just below the winery and uh, we're gonna see some some plants how they are now since Sofia told us that this is actually a, their babies that means that in in Santorini when the wines grow they're, they grow into a basket. So this basket is there to protect the grapes from the elements, from the wind, from everything else that's going to hurt the grapes. So here we have one that is, that is um, I think, how, how many years is this old now? Uh, seven. So this is seven years old now. Check it out. Here you can see this is 
the basket formation that they have and that's that's used in Santorini for I think more than two and a half thousand years. So this here is the traditional way of making the wines go around in a basket formation. So this one here is Sophia just told me 200 years and it was here just before they started building the winery. And this is a formation and a type of a cultivation of the wine for about two and a half thousand years. You have to imagine that, that they haven't changed anything for two and a half thousand years. And that's one of the things that makes Sandorini wines great. So here we are in the production area. This is actually where they get the, the grapes delivered when there is uh, the Vedema that we say here in Greece. Uh, behind me, that's the new bottles, and next to that there is um, the, the weighing platform where they, they weight everything. And so there's another thing that they do here in Estate Argyros. Just behind me, you can see these big uh, doors. These are coolers, and that's where the grapes land for about five hours to cool down. Because when the harvest is, that's uh, beginning mid-August, the grapes are really hot, and that does not make any good in the wine producing. What's that behind us? So those are our pressing machines here in the state that we use. We use those ones to produce our white dry wines. Mm -hmm. uh, we fill them. We are waiting for the fermenting juice to come out, and that's the juice that comes out only from the grapes by smashing from the weights. Mm -hmm. That's considered to be the best quality. The best, yes. Yeah. And then we take the first press and we put it in a separate tank. Which we're gonna see right now. Behind me you can see the stainless steel tanks where the first juice lands and uh, the fermentation starts. Uh, State Argyros has a capacity of 200 tons of wine each year and that includes white reds and the dessert wine which is the Vinsanto. So we're now in the cellars of the winery. Behind me you can see the French oak barrels. And today they are bottling a batch. This is a filter and the rest is equipment that they need for the rest of the bottling. So as you can see, we're now in the heart of the winery down below where the stainless steel tanks are. And as you can see, many of them have open doors. That means that they are empty. Why they're empty? Because it's bottling season. The winery is trying its best to bottle all the products that they have so that they make enough space for the next vintage that's coming. Just behind me, this tank is being bottled right now. So you can see that it's hooked up. And on the indicator, you can see that about one third of the tank is already in bottles and ready for you to go and buy somewhere. Behind me you can see this is the bottling machine. That's a machine that costs roughly 200 to 300,000 euros for you who want to know. So now we are back in the tasting area and now we're gonna have the wines. So now we are ready to start our tasting. 
I'm here with uh, the director of Estate Argyros, Mr. Stefanos Georgas. He's going to take us through and explain everything about the wines that we need to know. Hello, Ben. Welcome to Estate Argyros. And today we're going to start a very uh, small uh, tasting with uh, three of our wines. And uh, the first one we're going to start is the Atlantis Rosé. A beautiful uh, rosé wine made from uh, the Mandila Yak grape. It's a rosé vinification. Uh, and it's an unbelievable wine for hot summer days as we are located in Santorini that makes it ideal for environment uh, like we have here and uh, pairs perfectly with uh, the Mediterranean cuisine. As you can see the wine has a beautiful uh, rosé color, uh, very bright and uh, I can say it's, uh, it's a little bit sexy color as well. Uh, on the nose you have those beautiful uh, Turkish Delight uh, rose and uh, some strawberries. Mm. Oh, beautiful acidity and nice, very uh, soft finish and the most important, very dry. Try to pair this one with uh, all these uh, Greek mesedes, as we call, you know, those fried calamari, fried fish, a nice Greek salad, and uh, sit next to the water and enjoy it. Our next wine will be uh, Santorini Argyros Asiatico. Uh, it's 100% uh, Asiatico. It is a selection from uh, our parcels from three different uh, villages on the island of Santorini and uh, the average age of the vines that we use for this specific uh, bottle of wine is uh, between 60 to 120 years old, middle-aged wines. The fermentation is stainless steel and um, it's a beautiful wine with ni nice acidity, natural acidity, that's of course the, the big weapon of uh, the acetic of grape. Let's taste. Oh, the nose has lemongrass and citrus flavors, of course, because it's in uh, the youth of this wine. You can smell a little bit uh, the minerals, which they're starting to develop uh, into the bottle very clean, very crisp and so precise and um, this is a perfect wine to pair it with uh, oysters, lobster and of course uh, if you have a little bit of patience you can uh, wait for another three four years and uh, the wine will uh, reward you because uh, you're gonna have uh, Santorini in a glass. Our next wine is Estate Argyros, 100% Asiatico, French oak fermented. And uh, this is a wine that as well is sourced from our vineyards here in Episcopi. And uh, of course, the oldest parcels that we have, as we said before, 150 years and over. And the difference here is this wine ferments and remains in French oak barrels for six months. Another approach uh, to the Asiatico grape, of course, the oak that we use here uh, is, uh, we try to have as much as less presence into the wine. So we're just looking to have a nice touch, just a kiss. On the nose, uh, you have the same uh, elements as we have to all the acidicos but here you have a little bit more uh, the feeling uh, of the oak the acidity is there uh, you have an unbelievable concentration on the palate and uh, this is a wine that you can even bury even uh, meat the next one we will taste uh, today is the Visando uh, four years barrel age 2009 vintage uh, is our young Visando. 
as we have uh, other Visandos which they're aging for more uh, years in the battle. Visando is the tradition of Santorini. We've been making uh, this wine for many, many centuries. It's a natural sweet wine and not fortified, made from white grapes, that is uh, we call uh, white wine. Mainly 80% is acetico, 10% is Aidani, and 10% Athiri. We sun dry the grapes on the field between 12 to 14 days. And uh, after, after we press in the fermentation, we put uh, the, the wine into fresh oak barrels where it remains for four years. After bottling, the wine remains in the bottle for two years before we release to the market. You can see this beautiful color and the concentration, unbelievable dry amount of uh, dry fruit, Corinthian raisin, and it's so nice. On it. it has it's so rich, so powerful on the um, on the palate. And this wine will recommend to pair it with nice vanilla desserts, something like creme brulee, as well or by itself. So guys, you know wine makes hungry. So here in the state of Euros, you can also have a cold plate for two, which includes some fava, some uh, tomato paste from Sandorini, some olive paste, nice cheeses and everything. So the price for a cold plate is around 5 euros and it's good for two persons. The wine tasting by itself is 8 euro per person and uh, if you can combine it and you can either have the tour or not have the tour and just have the tasting and the plate or you can just have the tasting, it's up to you. So this concludes the tasting at the Estate Arirós and I uh, would like to thank the director and Sophia. Sophia for having us here. Thank you for the hospitality and everything. You're welcome. You have and to visit. Yes. I'm looking forward to see you soon again. I'll be here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so guys, if you're in the area and you want to visit a good winery or maybe the best winery of Sandorini, just check out the State Arios. See you soon. <laughs>